I don't like to push products on anyone, and I thought by not disclosing the brands that I was using and simply describing the type of product, that somehow that would be more helpful. However, I have now realized that that isn't the most helpful, that you want to know what brands I use and what brands I would recommend. So this week, I'm putting together a list of my favorites. And I would also love to hear what your recommendations are too, so that we can help each other find products that work for us. So I'd really love your help on that part. If you see a brand that's unavailable in your country that I'm talking about here, I would love if you would suggest a brand that is more readily available where you are. So please let me know what country you're from and what brand you like to use, and I will add them to the list. And I'm really excited to hear your suggestions and thank you ahead of time for your help on that. Now with all that said, let's get started. So I needed a little bit more time to work on my eyeshadow video, so I thought that we could talk about brushes instead. I'm a little bit of a brush nerd. I love makeup brushes. And I have three brushes that I think are essential, which I'm going to show you a few different examples that might work for you. And the brushes that I use are by Blank Chemist Cosmetics. I have been using these for years. This is my friend's brand, and this is gonna sound kind of sponsored, but I promise you, she doesn't know anything about this. I just love supporting her. And also her brushes are amazing and they're so affordable. Let's just compare this to say a MAC brush. This is the MAC 224 brush. This is 26 euro compared to the brush by Blank Canvas Cosmetics, which is very, very, very similar. And this is the E92 and this is 550. And the quality of these brushes is amazing. And yet they're super affordable. And there's a lot of different brands out there that try to match the appearance of some of the higher end ones, but they're very thin and flimsy, whereas Blank Canvas gets it right. It has the quality there, the shape, the movement. They last a really long time. This sounds super, super sponsored, but I promise you it's not. But I do have a discount code if you want to try it out. But let me just explain some of the brushes that I think are essential. The first essential is a fluffy brush. This is probably the most important out of all of the brushes. You can apply eyeshadows using your fingertips. You can use those little spongy things that some of the palettes come with, but you need a good blending brush to create that soft, blurry, blown out look. And you can only do that with a fluffy brush. Now there's a million different ones to choose from, but here are the two that I use the most often. So we have the E26. This is a beautiful brush to use. Super easy to create different blending techniques. You can use it horizontally. You can use it vertically. It's not too fluffy. It has a little bit of stability behind it. And then we also have the E20. Very similar. Again, just not as flat, more rounded at the top, more kind of tapered at the top. And I love this one because it's synthetic. So you can use it with creams, gels, powders, everything. So once you have your blending brush, next we have a pencil brush. This is used for smudging and applying in smaller areas like underneath the eyes, for instance. I have two brushes that I use the most often. This is the E85, and then we also have the E01. The E01 is synthetic, and I love this one. You've probably seen me use this a million times. It's one of my absolute go-to favorites. And the final essential brush is a flat brush. This is great for pressing and swiping on the eyeshadow. Now I have two options here. I have one that is a natural hair and one that's synthetic. So we have the E24. I really like this one because the tip of it kind of tapers out and creates really, really thin lines. So you can get right underneath the eyes. But then we also have the E40, which is synthetic. So it has this almost slickness to it. It's also great for applying concealer, great for applying primers, great for even just smudging around the lip line with a little bit of concealer because it is synthetic. We can use it with creams, we can use it with gels, we can use it with powders, liquids, everything. So once you have those three, you can then create pretty much every single look you can think of. But if you want to keep adding or you want to kind of change it up depending on your eye shape or your needs, then let me share with you a few more that I really, really like. And we're bringing it back to blending brushes because if you have one, I would still recommend getting two. And you don't have to go for exactly the same one. You can change it up. You can try something like this one, for instance. This is the E45. This is a dual fibered brush. So you can use this for blending out your concealers, applying powders onto the face, but it's also great for blending out eyeshadows. Now, because it has two fibers, which is dual fibers, the darker ones create that little support and movement, but then the tip, the other type of fiber, has more of a slick, smoother finish. Finish. This means that it doesn't pick up as much pigment, 
which is great when you're blending as a finishing touch, almost creating an airbrush finish, whether you're blending out your eyeshadows with it or whether you're blending out your liquid or cream concealers. It's also great for applying powder just in and around any areas like your smile lines, in and around the nose area, because it only applies a very small amount and blends it away. I love a good duo fiber, if you can't tell. You can also try getting a brush like this, which is a double-ended brush. So one side, we have the flat brush, which I've already talked about, a great brush. And on the other side, we have our blending brush. So this can be our alternative to buying three brushes. We can just buy two and we already have our extra blending brush. Another double-ended brush that I really like is the E27, E28. This is a liner brush with a mini flat brush on the other side. You can buy these separately, but I do like to have them together because they're really handy. If you mess up your liner, you can use the other side with a little concealer to fix it up. Now, speaking of eyeliner brushes, maybe you want to try a bent shape. This is what I recommend to people when they say they just can't work with eyeliner. I tell them, okay, let's give you a bent style and see if you can hold it a little bit better. It really just depends on the person, but some people find this style much easier. Also, if you have deep set eyes, you might find it difficult with some of the larger blending brushes. So I would recommend something like this, which is an E42. This is a great one for getting deep in the crease. But one of my absolute favorite brushes is the E10. You will not think that you're gonna use it that often. You'll look at it and go, it's very basic, but you will use it in so many ways. It will always be there to save the day. Whenever I make a little mistake or whenever I need a very small amount of blending, the E10 will come in and fix it. Another brush I'd kind of add into the essential is a brow brush. So this is the E30. This is an angled brush and a spoolie. Now, of course, you can just use an old mascara wand that you've cleaned, but it is really handy having a clean spoolie. And this can be used on your brows, but it can also, because it's angled, be used to create an angled eyeliner look. And then obviously having a clean spoolie on the other side means if you have too much mascara or maybe you've smudged mascara on your face, you're gonna be able to have something to fix it. Now, if you wanna take the entire guesswork out of this, just go for the pre-made sets. For instance, we have this one. This is the One Stop Eye and literally is one and done. You don't have to worry about it. All the brushes that you're ever gonna need are in this set. We have flat, we had blender, we have an eyeliner. Every possible brush and every makeup look that you wanna do, you can do with this set. Now, if you feel like that's too many brushes, you can also try this one. This is the Basic Eye Trio. It's just three little brushes, but these are my essential brushes. You have everything that you need in this little mini set. But for anyone who wants to really go all out, you could try some of their really large collections. This set right here comes in this massive storage box, which is beautiful, and it has every single brush that you will ever need in your life. Now, if you feel like 40 brushes is just too many for you, you can also get the 20. The box is slightly smaller and you have 20 brushes, but it has everything that you need. I also just love the fact that I can use this for storing my brushes. I know that they're safe, they're not rolling around, everything fits in there, and it looks really cute in my room too. Now with all of these sets, you can use my discount code. I can't remember the percentage at the moment, but you can just pop it in at the checkout and you can get a discount on everything that I've been talking about here. Now, if you need any more advice on any brushes that might suit you, I will try my best to find the right combination for you. But as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.